A stolen dump truck ends up crashing into the gates of a naval base. Investigators say this all started in Flagler County this morning. Deputies say the dump truck was stolen from a landscaping business. The thief then drove about an hour north to Mayport Naval Base in Jacksonville. That's where the accused crook was arrested after the crash. News 6's Lauren Korn shows us brand new pictures of the damage caused by the crash. A brazen crime that spanned across two counties this morning. Deputies say the 23 year old man parked a black car outside Corey Enterprises Lawn and Landscape and stole the keys from inside the shop, taking off in the company's F 350 dump truck. And the sheriff tells me once the man took off in the stolen dump truck, they were able to track his every move thanks to the truck's GPS system. Turned on 95 and 95 northbound. So he got on 95 northbound. The vehicle struck a number of vehicles in St. John's County in uh, Jacksonville and fled each time. Investigators say the truck rammed into the military gate at Mayport Navy Base, where officials there immediately put up another barrier, which finally stopped the truck. When he was apprehended, he did have a weapon in the vehicle. The sheriff says a firearm and a ski mask were recovered. At this point, we don't know what his intent was. Uh, we know where it ended, uh, which obviously uh, raises concerns when you try to, when you steal a pretty heavy duty vehicle and then ram gates at a military uh, facility. Sheriff Rick Staley says his domestic homeland security team is working with authorities in Jacksonville to find out the man's motive. After learning the car he left is registered out of Georgia. We don't have any authorities in Georgia do that. The man with a Miami address will be sent back to Flagler County charged with burglary of an occupied business and grand theft auto. However, additional charges are pending. Luckily, no one was seriously hurt. In Flagler County, Lauren Corn getting results, new six.